Let's talk about casual chic, what it is and how you can put some casual chic outfits together. I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist and I help women find the best styles to suit their body shape, their coloring and their style personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. So let's talk about casual chic and then I'm going to show you how you can put some casual chic outfits together. Casual chic is mixing formal with informal and classic with trendy. So it's those outfits that are kind of casual but have that little bit of stylishness to them so they look really great. And you know I always talk about style archetypes and your style personality, whatever you want to call it, and how that affects how you dress. And when you dress to suit your style personality, then you will feel better. So I'm going to talk a little bit about while I'm doing this, how these styles or these casual chic outfits fit into your each style personality. For this video, I partnered with Mott & Bow. It is a premium jean company that makes jeans at a reasonable price. I've partnered with them before in other videos. I really like their jeans because they're soft and they fit well. Generally, I have a tough time fitting jeans and I don't usually wear jeans a lot for that reason, but these fit me well. They use the finest denim fabrics from the best mills in the world. They have over 30 years of experience and this is applied in every pair of their handcrafted jeans. Simplicity is their core design philosophy. Some of the pieces that you'll need for a casual chic outfit are jeans, a straight skirt, neutral pants, a sweater, a t-shirt, a blouse, a tailored jacket, or maybe a leather jacket. Some of the footwear you'll need are flats, booties, and boots. So if you create a capsule wardrobe with just some of these pieces, you can just mix and match them and then you'll have your chic casual capsule, which will make it really easy to get dressed. You're also going to need accessories, scarves, necklaces, jewelry, rings, bracelets, handbags. You don't need a lot, but you just need a few that will mix and match with this wardrobe capsule. Creating casual chic is much easier if you create a wardrobe capsule for it. So let's get started. And we're going to start with sweaters. The first sweater I've chosen is white. It has puffy sleeves and it comes in nicely at the waist. The jeans are from Mott and & Bow and they are skinny jeans. I'm wearing a long necklace and I also have a gray purse that you can see on the table next to me. I'm wearing booties and these booties have low heels and they're very casual. I've also added a sweater coat with this to wear outside. So this outfit will be good for natural Nelly or conservative Connie. It isn't artsy enough for Annabelle and it is not quite flashy enough for Vicky. In this outfit I'm wearing a cotton cashmere sweater and also skinny jeans from Mott & Bow. They're both from Mott & Bow and I'm also wearing flats. So to spice this look up a little bit, I've added a shirt under the sweater and I've added a necklace. This look is probably best for natural Nellie, maybe loving Lana or conservative Connie. Again, Vicky probably wouldn't want to wear this. It isn't flashy enough and neither would Annabelle. And here I'm wearing the jeans tucked up a little bit with ankle boots. The nice thing about skinny jeans is you have more options. You can wear them with flats, you can wear them with heels, and you can wear them with long boots or booties. The next sweater is a black cashmere, again from Mott & Bow, and the jeans are also from Mott & Bow. The jeans are the Slim Boyfriend, and I like these jeans because they have lots of room and they feel very, very comfortable. And also because they're a boyfriend, you can wear them different ways. You can wear them straight or you can tuck them up as well. So you can wear them with sneakers, you can wear them with shoes, with boots. They're very versatile. I've also layered this with a white blouse under and I'm wearing a necklace with it. And in this photo, you'll notice I'm wearing a scarf, which also makes another change. The best handbag with this will be black, blue or 
ombre. This again is great for conservative Connie, loving Lana, or natural Nelly. And the last sweater is this pink one. Now this one will be great for vivacious Vicky because it has lots of color. And she would definitely wear this with skinny jeans and high heels. And she might even add an animal print. So now let's move on to the next item in the chic and casual wardrobe. And that is a skirt. Now you can have a skirt that's a denim skirt, or you can have one that is pleated if you're Annabelle. But the most important is that you have one that fits well into this whole capsule. And I've chosen a straight skirt. I think a straight skirt is probably the easiest one to use. And especially when you're dealing with neutrals, it's easy to mix and match. You can mix and match your neutrals, but then you can add in some color if you want to. So in this photo, I'm wearing the white blouse, the print skirt, booties, and a scarf. Here you'll see that I'm wearing booties and they have a thin heel, two inches. So this is a lighter boot and creates a different look than a lower, clunkier heel. So it depends on you what you feel most comfortable wearing. So here we have a heavier boot. The heel is only one inch and the boot is heavier. So when you have something heavy on the bottom, it needs to be balanced with heaviness on top. And the sweater can do this. This is an oversized sweater and it balances out the whole look. So first we have the skinny heel. Now I've added the thick lower heel and the last is the heaviest, which is a long boot. So when you're wearing a boot like this, now you're ready for your coat or your jacket. Even with a boot that's heavy like this, the whole look is still balanced. And don't forget your handbag. This outfit is perfect for loving Lana because there's a scarf. The scarf has long flowing lines and it's more feminine. And Lana likes that. Also, Lana will be more likely to wear the pointed heel boots. And if it's Connie, she'd be more likely to wear the flatter heel, chunkier boot. And if it's Vivacious Vicky, she's going to choose a boot that is long and a high heel. And of course, she's going to have more color. The next piece is a tailor jacket. And I'm showing it here with the skinny jeans and pumps. This is probably the most formal look of all of them. And the jacket is what does that. Because the jacket is tailored, it creates more style. And then the belt adds a touch of style and also the blouse. Whenever you wear a tailored jacket, you're bringing your whole look up a notch. Just adding a t-shirt, a black or white t-shirt, will make a huge difference again in stretching this whole wardrobe capsule. And then to bring in your personal style, you want to choose the accessories that you really love. When you add a blouse, one that's really nice for you, one that you love, and in your best color. So choose one in your own color, the color that you love. That will also bring your outfit up a notch and create more of that stylishness and make you look more chic. So really it's all about starting with the basics, starting with neutrals, and then adding some color, and then adding nice shoes, footwear, and accessories to bring that look up so it will reflect your personality and that you will look better. If you aren't familiar with your style archetype, I have a link in the description box below and I've described each one of them so you can read them and decide which one suits you best. And sometimes you might fit into one or two of them just a little bit. When you get your style down, it makes it easier to get dressed. So looking great and dressing well is a matter of organization, finding out what you really like, dressing to suit your style, and creating wardrobe capsules. When you have those items that all mix and match, it's gonna make things a lot easier for you. And all of the items I've mentioned, I will put in the description box below. And for those of you who wanna know what I'm wearing today, it is a dress, and it's a dress that a friend gave me. A dress that she wasn't wearing and she thought suited me because I was wearing one at the time that was a little bit like it. And so here I am. Beautiful dress and I really like it. And although I can't get a link for this specific dress, I will find one that is close to it as possible. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.